Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Sir Epicorn, and today I am bringing you back with another speed build. So I know some of you have been buzzing for this build, including you, Gertrude. I love you. <laughs> um, basically, today I am building this like beachy kind of themed speed build. Like at the start, it kind of like I took it took its shape at the start. Um, and I feel like near the end it kind of lost its kind of beachy touch because I, I kind of just turned to because I'm used to building more suburban things and I'm trying to branch out so I was like okay I'm gonna build a beachy kind of one um, at the start it was kind of like it was going on the route to being beachy um, the decoration for like the kitchen is kind of like light colours you know and I, I found this new counter. It's actually pretty cool. I, I it was it was always there, but I never used like the colour swatch for it. Like I used the counter, just not the this colour swatch. You'll see later on. But um I plan to upload um I'm gonna make this new series and it's called uh Real Life to Sim Life. Basically is if I get enough viewers for now, I'm just gonna get like my friends to um send me like videos not videos pictures of um like something doable like uh, an apartment or like uh, a house or a room or something something that's actually doable in the sims and basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn that from real life to sim life <laughs> if you get me um so that's what i plan to do it's going to be like this new series i'm going to see how long it goes on for and if if there are any viewers that aren't my friends, um, you can tweet at me. Um, my Twitter handle is at Sir Epicorn. Um, tweet a picture to me using the hashtag. Um, using the hashtag. I don't know what I'm going to call it. <laughs> sim, real life to sim life. Something like that. I'll put it on the screen just so you know. Um, so, reminder to myself. <laughs> need to put it on the screen. Um, anyway, so this is the house. I have a story time for you guys, actually, and it's about me, right? So it was Monday morning, right? I finished school on Monday because um, I have a week off uh, from Monday and then until the 7th of June because I start my like, exams on 7th of June. Um, so we have like a week and a bit off to study. Um, but basically, um, I have these big exams that I have to study. I've been studying for eight. Uh, I don't want to talk about study, okay? It's just very stressful. <laughs> um, so that's happening on the 7th of June until the 15th of June. The 15th of June, yeah. Um, on, on the 19th we have one, but I don't really need to study for that because it's like graphic design. So it's like kind of like, I don't know. You, you don't really need to study for it basically that's happening so I might be oh, I won't be active for two weeks after the June basically but from the 15th I'll have a video up and then onwards so it'll either be upload I haven't really decided my schedule yet I'm gonna be either uploading every day or every second day depending on how busy I am and whatnot like I, I, I want to I want to be as active as possible because I feel like the more active I am, the more likely um, I'm going to be seen because, like, seen by other people. Because <laughs> my dream, as I said in the last one, is to be like those Zimzy. Like, I don't know. Just not like her in general, but, like, just have, like, a kind of community. Like, her community is amazing. Like, all her fans and stuff. And I just want something like that. It'd just be great. It, like, I don't know. But we'll see. Anyway, so the story is on Monday... I woke up, right? And I went downstairs and my sister was there. She was just sitting at the table because she, ha she has a baby. So she was feeding her baby. And um, basically I look outside into like my front drive and uh, my mom's car isn't there. Like it's a silver car and it's not there anymore. And then I go upstairs and my mom, she's like in her office. And I was like, oh, uh, I thought you were gone. And she wasn't. So like, I was like, oh, did dad go out? And she's like, no, he's in his bed because um he's off from work for now he took like a break off because his, his work's been really stressful so he took like a few weeks off like his holiday payoff um anyway that's not the point <laughs> so basically what happened was um i asked her where the car was and she said she didn't know uh so basically the car got stolen <laughs> 
Um, my mom last the night before she forgot to lock it. <laughs> Silly old mom, <laughs> she forgot to lock it. So she, basically, they're e- able to open it. But my mom's like my mom's car key, right? My mom's car key. It's like it's not actually a key. It's more like this kind of like uh, button presser thing, and you just have to have it in the car, and it's able to start. So basically, um, really to start the car, you need that. And the robbers, um, they had one of their own, like, kind of, like, fake uh, actual keys. And they tried to put it in the ignition of the car. And obviously, it wouldn't work because, like, there isn't really ignition. Like, there's one, like, just in case the um, button presser doesn't really work. But, like, you don't really use it often. So they were trying to jam this key in, right? But that's later on. Um, my mom, she took my dad's car because she had to get bread in the morning. So, she, so we could have, like, sandwiches for lunch and stuff for, like, school and stuff. Um, but she <laughs> she took um, my dad's car but basically my my house is the my estate like there's a, like a ring of houses and then there's a drive out and then there's another ring and it just goes on along the, like kind of like that and it just winds all the way around and um, there's like a corner you have to turn to go to my house and my mom she drove um, my dad's car out and she my car my mom's car was literally just parked at that um corner so basically what happened was they got the the car key jams they couldn't start the car so they started tra- they were gonna like hot wire or something so they tried to jump start it obviously and um they it they obviously they like pushed it but like th- how we know that is because my neighbor beside me it was like three o'clock in the morning or something and he was like looking at the window and he saw us well, he saw people pushing our car and he thought it was us. So he was literally, he was, he said he was going to um, ask us if he needed help or anything. But in the end, he didn't because like it was three o'clock in the morning. He was obviously going to try sleep. Um, but basically he witnessed them pushing and he just thought it was us. So that's how we know they were pushed it. But then um, the police came anyway and they took the car to like this factory thing, like where they're going to get like forensic uh, checked for like you know CSI kind of stuff or they check for fingerprints or whatever but basically they said it'd be back in two hours on Monday and they they collected it at like nine in the morning or something and we still haven't gotten it back and today's cheap like today it's the next day and we still haven't gotten back so um yeah so we can't drive it either because like the keys jam so it's basically you can't drive it so our insurance company has to like try fix it or something so basically we have no car except my dad's one but like it's kind of awkward because like usually my mom would drop me off to drop me off to school but like it's all right <laughs> I, i'm kind of rambling it doesn't really make sense probably <laughs> but you know um so as you can see in the kitchen you saw those counters and they were kind of like a light color and i've never seen them before so i thought you they're like a minty kind of color um so for this dining kind of area i wanted to stick with the kind of bluey kind of theme but like <laughs> I I put that orange desk in and I was like oh yeah that actually kind of looks nice so then I wanted to try add orange accents so I put an orange rug under and I'm not really sure if it looks good or not <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know I'll leave it up to you if there are any viewers watching let me know <laughs> like I, I don't know it kind of looks f- good but it looks fine like it's not anything like Deli Gracie you would do or like a Deli Gracie whoever you, whoever you say it but yeah basically that happened um doing this sitting room i'm not sure if because like i liked the three sofas right the three by three sofa like three people can sit on it um i I kept finding ones i liked but then i didn't i couldn't find like another one like a two-seater or a single seater that matched so i i had to find that one the one that's beside it and i don't know if it really matches either but it does kind of have pillows pillow symbol (coughs) words please (laughs) It does kind of have pillows that are similar, but like, I don't know. Anyway, um, I don't really know much what else to say really. So, um, I could, so, um, oh, I have an update, right? You know, the whole Gertrude story with Boris and like, um, Boris, uh, or the Janet, Boris, Janet, Gertrude and Melissa and Hannah but like they're not they're not the kind of key parts it's um Boris and Gertrude 
basically, um, I was talking. You know how I said yesterday how he wanted to try getting her pants because um, because he wants to try fitting her with his lad with the lads, you know, like the lads, the boys. Um, <laughs> basically, she said that um, he actually was asking her things like if he wanted to do things like that with her. Like she said that he um, that he. He, he was in bed at like one o'clock in the afternoon and he was like I'm still in bed and then she's like well get out <laughs> and then he's like uh, no either you have to drag me or you're gonna have to come in with me and she's like no thanks so like he's trying to like, I think he's actually trying to get her pants off <laughs> get those pants off <laughs> but I don't know maybe <laughs> that I'm kind of concerned I think he's a bad influence on her like I feel like a dad to be honest like I'm really kind of concerned and even my friend Hannah she um Eleanor not <laughs> Gertrude uh, she, she she calls Hannah her mom her school mom because like Hannah always protects her and stuff so basically that happens <laughs> um so but also another funny thing is um I was talking to Gertrude and she said that she's gonna send the video to Boris but apparently Boris is grounded because um she and uh, Gertrude and Boris they were gonna go out together like um, go out to the park or something um but he had to cancel because he got grounded for something and I don't actually remember why but he was grounded so maybe I don't know he was grounded so he could have done anything really you know <laughs> who knows let the <laughs> let, uh, I, I don't know <laughs> this is a flop really I, I, I had a plan of what I was gonna say at the start but I've already said everything <laughs> and it's like <laughs> If I didn't talk so fast, maybe I would have I would have um, not have to say much. But this is so I'm just gonna talk about the build because like I don't really have much else to say. Obviously I have loads of stories, but I don't have any planned stories to say. Like so I'm just gonna talk about the build to be honest. Um, this is the master bedroom. It's kind of like a sandy kind of color. That's what the, <laughs> it's like a beachy color, I guess. I don't know. It's like. Um, I'm not really sure to be honest. This is a kid's bedroom. Um, I don't know. I think it's like a preteen kind of try a boy, but like he's kind of turning into a teen. Like he has a double bed and stuff, but yet he still has like elements of his childhood. Like he has like those like kind of childish pictures on the wall. He has um that unicorn. Um, he has that bookshelf there, but then he also has like loads of posters on his wall. And he has like um, a guitar and like the mirror with the stickers on. And <laughs> do, do, do you notice anything? <laughs> do you know how my profile picture is the articorn? <laughs> I just stuck a cheeky articorn in the corner above his desk, to be honest. To be honest, what? Well, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, to be honest. I'm just, I, <laughs> I think I'm in like a rambly kind of stage. Um, but. Basically, I couldn't be bothered to think of a bedroom for the teenager because I, I built I took me like four hours to build this But uh, so basically I just copied the parents one because it fit exactly the teen one teenage girls one So I just changed up the colors and stuff and I added it and a few extra things But it's basic the basis is similar to the parents one Anyway, we're coming up to the screenshots now <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoy this video uh, Please make sure to share your friends and subscribe. I really need the fame. <laughs>